Hello, everybody. We're going to be looking at a Wanderer mission. This is how I play the Wanderer. I'm going to show you probably two missions. This first one is going to be with the uh, what I outlined in my class guide as the. It's kind of more of a marky way to play. I'm going to use. I'm going to get a mark off with my occultist. I'm going to beat the shadow with my hound, my arbalist, and then my Wanderer with shadow. I'm going to be in position one. I'm going to use petals, mark the second guy, and then I'm going to be using. Uh, Perfection to fuck them up again, and then I'm gonna banish them. So it's a four turn thing. The, the issue with this is the hallway fight, this relies on four turns in a hallway fight. Not all high hallway fights last that long. But on turns, on turn two, you can use banish. On turn three, you have to use perfection. You, like, there's nothing else you can do besides pedals again, but you're not gonna do that. So if I don't, if I need to get a kill on turn three, I can't use pedals. I have to keep using banish. That's a potential issue. My occultist uh, is running, he's running speed accuracy and this thing, which gives him a stun chance and uh, a lot of shit in position 2. Which he'll be in position 2 after the Wanderer moves forward and once the Wanderer uh, uses perfection, he'll be back in 1 and the one, he'll be in 2. Hound is going to use stun on the first turn because he'll go before the Wanderer. And then he's just going to beat the shit out of stuff with Hound's Rush and he's going to be stress healing. Arbalus is just damage secondary healer. What I think is notable... What's notable about this is um, my big damage here. We have armor piercing versus marked. Then we have armor piercing on banishment. So normally what I like, I like marks like uh, target whistle to debuff prot, especially in something like the Warrens here. But since the Wanderer actually uh, just has armor negation, like prot negation, I can use this minus dodge mark and be like just as well. That's a second fight that just spawned. I don't know what that is. We'll maybe deal with that after. All right, 30% damage. Oh, that on the Wanderer. Um, well, yeah, fuck it. Why not? We'll see how this goes. All right, this is anticlimactic. But a second fight just spawned. That wasn't here before. Sunlight's near it. Epic. Okay. This expedition, at least. This is gonna be kind of. All right, so. 170. I'm gonna stun this guy. Because he's gonna last a while, so I can just stun him next turn. But I'm trying to kill these guys really quickly. In which case, I just don't want him to have any action. So, I'm gonna stun this asshole. The minus dodge also works because the uh, you don't even really need to run accuracy on the Wanderer as I'm doing. Because. Uh, 105 is not too high, 110 is not too high, but with a minus 20 dodge mark, that's really great. Alright, shot the hell. Kind of epic. Now I do have his, uh, fucking fat 2 dodge in the front. But I have 25% proc as I'm running the Jingasa, and this guy just stunned himself. Like a fucking idiot. Alright. I was hoping that anyone else would act him but I guess not I'm going to you're gonna pedals actually you don't even need to pedals marking won't do shit I'm just gonna stab this guy probably should have stunned him but whatever Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. There's only one dude left, so I don't have to, like, I'm not going to pull him. Because he's already in the front. I probably should have marked for the other targets. Yeah, that's, I probably should have marked on my occultist last round. How was this guy going before, everybody? That's bad. Alright, occultist is now going to heal. That's also why I brought guard dog, is for shit like this. You are going to... You are going to be a... You're going to guard, so I'm going to heal you first. Three over three, that's not completely shit. Banishment is doing so much damage to this guy. I should, I, whatever. I'm going to set up the buffed healing on him. And now... I can do 7 to 12. I can make sure I actually dodge my attack. Alright, 
not getting the push with banishment, but that's okay. Now I'm going to mark for the other heroes. I don't have to. I don't. Oh, he hit that guy. Awesome. All right, this guy is totally screwed now. I'm gonna heal. I think I can. I think I can kill him in two hits. Two over four. Especially if I just stun him. He resisted because he has. A high, I didn't notice he has 145 stun. Awesome. And I got my heal on kill there. Good. So overall, wasn't too bad of a fight. I think that was that was uh, pretty good. And you saw me just use banishments out of the other two skills. All right. Another fight here. I think I'm gonna stun this guy. I'm gonna try and kill these dudes here. Maybe I should have stunned them first. All right, we're gonna mark. Mark him because he has higher dodge. So my, uh, not sure I'd be able to get Shadow off otherwise. Destroyed. Awesome. He's fucking destroyed. That's great. And now, uh, three to five against twenty or nineteen. Yeah, I'd rather just do some actual damage to that guy. I was thinking maybe I can get some AOE on the guy who's stealth, but that does no damage, so I don't I don't really care. Self mark? That's awesome. Doesn't this give me yeah. I get you just gave me 15% prot. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. Alright. Um okay. Such a It's kinda shitty. Alright, we're gonna what are you going to do? What is this occult? The, the occultist can go for a second stun, I guess? Continually onslaught. Destroy them. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a secondary stun. Fuck that guy. Alright, we're going to mark this target. I don't get my perfection bonus on him, but... The Hound can then screw him up next turn. I'm gonna heal with my occultist. Kind of an issue here. Alright, we're gonna get set up with my plus healing received, which also works for heal on kill. This guy needs to stop hitting him. I do have an actual issue, which is that if, um, he goes first, he'll actually just move back out of row one. Well, he's minus three speed, so he, he definitely won't. Build for two. And bled for nine. Alright. That's why we brought guard. Because of shitty... Because I have an occultist as my healer. Alright. I will try and kill this guy, though. We are... Absolutely doing this. Obliterated. Got kind of fucked. Heal on kill five. I have a plus, basically plus forty percent healing buff, and it's not doing shit. Um, stun him again, I guess. Two over two. That's not going to do anything. I want my wanderer to get a kill, hopefully. Because if my wanderer gets a kill, he'll heal himself. Is totally awesome. And he's gonna go. He's probably gonna go first. Yeah. Thanks for the 34 point. All right. Now I can kill with the hound because he has no H. I got stress heal. What am I rolling on? I'm rolling on six speed versus five speed. I'm not gonna be able to heal through that damage, so I'm just gonna go for a kill right now. Drop this shit because that's worth nothing. I'm gonna drop portraits because I'm done. Anyone got a negative work? That I don't want. No, okay. Off we go. How fucked is this guy? 50% chance to crit. Is he mega fucked or ultra fucked? Only mega fucked. That's very sad. Damn. I do want to point out what sucks with this uh, strategy, though. Is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to pedals mark somebody. And then perfection push yourself forward. But I can't. I want to kill this guy. So I can't pedals him. Because pedals doesn't go through stealth. And I can't perfection him, because I'm in row one. So that's kind of an issue. Just wanting you to be aware of that. It's a little uh, a little backwards from what you want to do. On a somewhat related tone, or topic though, it doesn't really matter. 
and especially not on the Warrens or the Cove, because he has 45% prot, but I ignore prot. So he just fucking dies. And then I push him forward. Now, I really can't hit him, but still. The armor piercing is such an amazing part of uh, this class. Didn't get the shuffle off. Whatever. So yeah, I think this is a great class for the Warrens and for the Cove. Maybe also for the... Uh... He's going to move himself back with his attack, so that means I can perfection him next turn. But he'll already be out of stealth, but still. Yeah, Warrens, uh, Cove, Sunward Isles has some decent prot enemies. Not many, but some. Not too great in the wield, there's not much. I guess the zombies in the wield. This armor piercing is such a nice thing to have, because it's your it's your damage ability anyway. Like you're already using um you're already using banishment to screw up as your damage ability. So the fact that you just get armor piercing on it without having to do anything about it is probably the best part. So I just want to note how fucking screwed this guy is. Because I used uh, I used pedals twice. He's perfection. He doesn't give me 25% crit bonus. It doesn't really matter right now, but it's for the whole battle. So I... And this guy has a uh, plus 24% crits received chance. So I have a 99% chance to nuke this fucking dude right here. And then I buff everyone else's proc because of the trinket I have. Pretty baller, not gonna lie. I do want to talk about this party comp I have right here. It's kind of uh, really poor synergy. Because Banishment only hits position 1, obviously. And the Arbalist cannot hit position 1 except for with uh, with Blind Fire, which sucks. But with, uh, except with Bolas. So, maybe... I th I did try and go with the Mark party right here, and it's doing pretty well. Like I haven't had uh, too much HP problems. This is a Champion Warren's mission, which is you know what people call the hardest of the four uh, places, and it's not too bad. But I think the one issue that I am coming across is the the row one damage. All right, the fact that you went first is actually quite annoying. Still going with the same plan though. Plan doesn't change. We're gonna mark 15. With 15, what are we gonna do? We're gonna mark. Uh, we're gonna mark you. Because I'm I'm thinking that 15, the arbalist can do 15. So I'd rather do 31 to this, and then hopefully get. Uh, a banishment or another hounds rush off on this guy before he gets two actions and he might just hit his fucking teammate in which case i don't yeah like this so he does heal himself oh he doesn't even heal himself all right well then he does he's totally fucking dead all right but now we're gonna mark this guy as well so the arbalist can actually do something this round awesome go with the pedals he's already marked but doesn't get the second debuff. Never mind. It sets up the kill with, uh... I don't have no other way to do that besides killing a corpse. I didn't feel like waste... If I was gonna waste my action killing a corpse, I would already be stupid. So I'm just gonna do this. Uh... Go for the kill. I guess it's unnecessary for the Wanderer to act. Ta-da! Didn't move either. Alright, that's an issue. And this guy acted before my 9-speed Houndmaster. It's fucking 3-speed act before a 9-speed. I don't even know what the odds of that are. Probably like 4%. No yeah, hey, that's how percent So, be considered a virtue. things I would do... If I was in a boss fight now, I would, uh... I would totally pop this, the 5 attitudes. Absolutely pop this. Probably wouldn't pop sheath the blade because I'm a. This is a high DPS party. I would maybe even consider draw the blade. Wanderer did get low a few times, so 150% healing skills on 4 HP. That turns into 10 HP a kill. That's awesome. 25% damage is always also cool as well. I think this is a quite an easy dungeon. You could. I know I didn't show that many fights, but the other ones I just did the same thing as we've been seeing. You just do shadow, pedal. You shadow and then banishment forever, or you do shadow pedals. Perfection Banishment. The only things to watch out for is Synergy with uh, hitting row 1, like with an Arbalist. Maybe find something else I can hit row 1. 
like a, like a Conquistador or uh, there's probably some Musketeer rework out there that can hit row one. Or, uh, I don't know, something else. Not, um, not the Butcher, the other... The There's a mod, the Reaver. The Reaver mod can hit row one. There's... Other issue is perfection with stealth. I can't pedals and perfection a guy who is already stealthed. So you might want to consider, if you have a guy who's stealthed and he's high priority, like a crone in the wield, maybe use perfection first over shadow, pull him into position one, debuff their speed, and then just kill him. Because you can't pedals a stealth guy, which is an issue. Alright, now we're going to go on to a second mission. Alright, we're doing the next mission in the cove. I uh, switched out petals in perfection for water in the thousand 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 stance. Now I don't know. Uh, there were some stealth here, so I'm thinking maybe I could drop the thousand stance and pick up perfection. But in which case I would I wouldn't use shadow, and I think I'd rather I think I, I would almost always just use shadow to get my uh, my front my back rank kill rather than just de stealth them and pull them. So I'm going to go with the Thousand Stance, because then I'm not going to use Petals ever, because once I get into row 1 with Shadow, I can't use Petals, because then I can't use Banishment. And I'm, I don't like using Forbidden, so that's uh, where we are now. To get my Mark Damage, I and to deal with Stealth, I'm bringing the Falconer. She's going to be using uh, Eye Thief Ravage, and she'll just like kill stuff. She's That's kind of normal, she's just got Speed and Accuracy. I got a Vestal. I'm going to start, as my, she's going to be my stress healer. I'm going to farm for crits with the judgment, I think. Uh, and then we have a grave robber who I just kind of threw in here. She's got armor piercing on pick. She's got some back row damage. Sharpened letter opener and whatever the hell this is. Looked kind of cool, I guess. Just going to try it out, I guess. Now, without, I have a pseudo healer. With the, uh. The Vestal isn't fully optimized for healing. She has 25% healing skills, so I think that's uh, about two extra healing on comfort and three extra healing on only the, strength to follow the race. That's it. Uh, Alright, so... 14 to 27, or 6 to 12. Definitely in between that. Yeah, I don't have ranged accuracy at all. I have, I have uh, regular accuracy. This... Really, only 84? Water? Ah, damn. Alright. That fucking works. Alright, so we're gonna now. Can you pick row 3? You can't pick row 3. You can lunge into row 3, though, so what I'm. Alright. I'm actually gonna mark this guy and not get the kill right here. Because I can stun this idiot, and I'm going to lunge into him next time, because now I get 100% armor piercing, and I got armor piercing and 100% damage with shadow. 21. That's okay. I don't know what the hell this guy even does. That sucks. She needs to go first, and she needs to... Alright, farming for crits, 22% crit. Didn't get it. I don't have any... <laughs> right. I don't have any stress, though. Alright, flank gouge. Armor piercing versus mark. That's cool. The ground quakes. I don't even know what that does. Whatever. Hard shell. Damn it. Alright, not bad, though. Uh, 9 to 17 or 7 to 13. Um, I want to use Banishment, so I want to stay in row one. I can bypass Guard. That's cool. Alright, movement worked. I think the only, uh, the only issue with taking the Thousand Stance is I'm not going to use it. Like, I can't imagine when I would be using it over Banishment. I guess if I get shuffled, the wounds of war can and be even, wow, that was bad. But never hidden. <sighs> Heal for five, did seventeen. Yeah, whatever. She won't die. Them all. 
fuck? <laughs> okay. The worldly corruption. Yeah, so as I was saying, um I mean, I'm I'm don't think I'm ever gonna wanna use the thousand stance unless I get shuffled into I get like shuffled into row two or three and then don't feel like if I and I don't feel like using water. Because I could always just use water. If I can't use water, I just use shadow. So I'm not too sure what to do here. Alright. Um. Who is more annoying? I'd rather deal with you because I can stun you. Like that. So I'd rather kill you. You. This is why I brought the falconer. Perfect reason. And then I don't kill him. Hell yeah. All right, five stress. That was fucking stupid. I didn't do anything. <sighs> yeah, crit you fucking idiot. All right, so. That sucks. That sucks a little bit less. Alright, I can't stun any of these dudes. 19 and 15. You heal on kill by like 4. So you at least have 19 HP. So let's see. Banishment here does 11 to 21. And this does 10 to 19. Oh, you fucking bitch. Yep, that's fucking annoying. And then he acts. Thank God he dodged. Alright. Uh I'm just gonna kill him. Can't do it. I can't stop this guy from being an asshole. Holy shit! Alright, look at these death door boss. 20 dodge. You got 10 accuracy, you got a bunch of shit, you got 100% healing received. Better use fucking water. Okay, 7, what does he have for speed right now? He has 11 speed. So I'm going to be going before that. So, we are going to stun, and then hope he, oh he has a fucking dot on him, he's going to die right now. I'm literally going to lose because I forgot that I have the fucking dot. Ball. Okay. He's just going to use water anyway. Alright, if this dude dies right now... Uh... <laughs> oh man, that's bad. That's so bad. Oh, he didn't die. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, I healed 8. You know what I could have done instead? Used fucking Divine Comfort and get 10. So that's not really worth it. I'm getting fucked on the stress here. It's gonna smack this dude. Alright, well you can see, speed on death's door is normally a horrible, horrible thing. But, it's okay when you, uh, it's okay when you actually heal on kill. That's the only reason that that's alright. Now do I want the thousand stance? Yeah, I can't do shit. We're gonna do this, and he's gonna AoE, AoE us. Oh, he's not. Okay. Definitely needed more accuracy here. Awesome. As the enemy Healed f four. Yeah. Look at this. Two speed, fearless hit when he done. Eh, that's kind of cool, I guess. And insidious killer. All right, got kind of screwed on the healing here. I guess I'll just eat. Why not? But we can see that is where uh, getting shuffled doesn't matter because water is always a great ability. The heal on kill, saw is great. All right, marked. I'm gonna do this because I have minus 10% damage from my shitty quirk I picked up. So all those damage numbers should have been a little bit higher. Alright. Yeah, 
fuck that. Fuck that person. Very nice lady. Alright. Uh, 8 to 15. Or we mark. Do more. Hit the guy in row 2, because what we're going to do is we're going to go into banishment next turn. And since I'm not going to... I likely won't crit and move this guy into row 1. Uh, I get to banish this dude. Like, if, if I killed this first guy, then he was in row 1 and then ha had to use water. Like, it's not really worth it. Alright. Start this. Uh, I'm going to... 8 to 15. Probably won't kill. 20... Probably won't do 29 there. What I can do, though, is I can water. I can water this guy. Alright, we're going to Judgment Farm for Crypts. No? Hell yeah. Alright. Um... 94 or 95. Doesn't matter. Wanderer was supposed to act first, but that's okay. And now with water, he gets his higher damage, so that was okay. See, I did two hit him. I two hit that guy. That's... Can I, pick, can I take this? No. Alright, sure. Whatever. I don't really care. So yes, you can two hit things. I do hit that guy with Wanderer. Or, sorry, with Wanderer. With Wanderer, I two hit him with Shadow. Then he got below that 40% HP threshold for blowing water cut. And then I was able to two hit him. So that's okay. If you can't get the kill with Shadow on the first time, you can definitely just do it on the second time. Essentially the same fight here. So this shouldn't be that hard. Except if you, you didn't crit like you did last time. Alright. Uh, Vestal... Can this even do 8 to 15 i won't do shit all right so we're gonna hit the row two guy go for the kill uh 10 to 19 or 17 to 33 am i gonna roll go on the max roll now i'm gonna go for the kill get my fucking four hp back and go for a stun mm, who's gonna last longer probably Guy in row two. So I can probably kill this guy in one turn. Alright, blood. That's not too bad. Alright, um. I don't really need healing, so I guess I might as well just stun this guy. Alright, never mind. Uh. Yeah, that's fine, because I'll just use water. I don't really care. I'm gonna cure that. I Thief Ravage, that guy. Alright, Wanderer should go first and get Water Cut. Awesome. Get that four, fat 4 HP. Uh, using a Vestal as a Stress Healer hasn't really worked out for me. I think, you're, I think you would all be uh, surprised to figure that one out. Ding dong, your death is here. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty bad for stress healing. <laughs> Success. So All right, I'll just uh, 4750. I'll just. Uh, uh, I have more vestals. I only have four so I'll just pop that. Overall, I think you can see this is not. Uh, I'm getting shuffled out of position. Like, I'm not always staying in position 1 like I was with the other comp. But that's okay, because I have water. Water allows you to do basically anything you would ever want. Because if you're not in water range, you're in shadow range. And shadow can hit any position. So you're never out of position. And then you also have a thousand stance, which can be used from anywhere. Whereas in the other position, if I wasn't in position 1, I'm kind of screwed. Because I'm either shadowing, or I'm doing some other crap. Alright, uh, we are just gonna... Fuck, oh, Really? What does the other ability do? 60% damage versus bleeding. This is 2 to 4, you have 6. Alright, I guess I'll just fucking hit you. Judgment. 87%. Alright, fine. I'm gonna... I would love it if my Wanderer would go first. Please. Oh, God damn it. Dodge. Fuck you. Yeah, not too amazing when you don't have the uh, the mark damage there. But that's fine. Let's 
guy's definitely dead. I'm just gonna stun him because he'll probably go first or something stupid. Yep, he went in front of my, what, 12 speed Grave Robber? Yeah. Lunge is such a perfect combo. Other big damage abilities work so well with the Wanderer. He doesn't even, he, all he can do, he can just finish up with uh, Water Cut. Like, I'm not even using Banishment, like, ever, but I'm still getting the awesome damage out because of, uh, the, the, what the hell? Because of what Water can do against low HP targets. Kind of like what Finish Him, what Finish Him, a lot of people say should do, or... Okay. Uh, we are going to... I have no way to deal with stress. We're just going to stab you. I think you dangerous is marked targets, so I didn't do anything to me. Six dodge? Don't care. Okay. Holy shit. How can you hit row four? Fucking asshole. Please just give me a turn. They all went first. All right, three over three. A decisive this is where this uh, is going to start working out. Six to twelve. I just uh, stun you. Nice. Heal on kill. Quite useful, considering it's just a passive and all your attacks. Quite good. Alright, um... 14 to 27. I can't kill you. But I can leave you within water range. So that's fine for by me. Nice. Really heal my own HP here. It's kind of good. This would probably be so much better in endless mode. First time I've used the actual fucking bow attack all battle. This is likely it, so I'm gonna stun here and hope I don't have another fight. Probably gonna fucking screw me over about real soon. Um, don't get anything out of. Might as well try and get the low, the below 40% HP threshold, so then water can finish off. Awesome. Kill 12. You got three kills there. So in endless mode, this could be very useful. This expedition at Epic. Least promises uh, yeah, don't use a Vestal as your fucking <laughs> stress healer. <laughs> so I hope this was uh, a good representation of the other way to play. I think these are the two main ways to be playing the Wanderer. Is you play with the marks, and then you play with uh, having other high damage abilities. Like if you and you can tell, like, Lunge, the uh, Shadow and Water worked. Lunge and Water worked. If you have, if you are using Marks, you could use stuff like Collect Bounty and then a, and then a Wanderer. The Bounty Hunter is higher speed. Or a Hound's Rush, and then a, or an Arbalist Shot, and then a Water Cut. So I think Water as a secondary finisher to get to two hit enemies could be very, very strong. So I hope this was helpful. Comment if you have any other ways you like to play the Wanderer. If you're asking me about other skills, like if you ask about Forbidden, I probably won't answer that. But I can answer with other uh, tips and tricks that you may want to know. I'll see you all around.